Welcome to our lecture online. Just so we prevent some confusion, what do we do when we have to try to figure out what the probability is that a person picked at random will have an IQ between 106 and 118? So now both limits are on the same side of the mean. All right, again, what we should do is we should calculate the first area, which is this area right here. Let's call this area one. And then let's calculate the second area, which is this area. Let's cal calculate area 2. And then to find the difference, we're going to subtract A1 from A2. That's going to be the strategy. But again, we first need to find the Z values of both of these numbers. And here's the equation. So we have Z is equal to, uh, we have X, which let's try 106, minus the mean, which is 100 divided by sigma, which is 10, so that equals to 6 divided by 10, which is 0 0.6. So this number here corresponds to z, z equals to 0 0.6. The second one, z is equal to 118 minus the mean of 100 divided by sigma, which is 10. That gives us 18 divided by 10, which is 1.8. So, in other words, that means 1.8 sigma to the right of the mean, above the mean. So that's z equals 1.8. So now we need to find the corresponding values, probability values, or numbers that re represent the area need to curve. So we can say that uh, for z equals to 0 0.6, that corresponds to a value of, we have to go look in our table, so 0 0.6 corresponds to a value of 0 0.22675. So 0 0.22675, which is equal to 22.675% of the total area need to curve. So that corresponds to A1. And then for Z equals 1.8, go to our table, 1.8 is 46407, so 0 0.46407, which means it's 46.407%, and that corresponds to the area A2. So now we have the two areas. A1 is the area right here. A2 is this entire area, so now to find the difference between the two from 106 to 118, we take the total area and subtract A1 from it. So in this case, we take A2 minus A1, which is equal to 20, oh, nope, A2 is the other one. It's 46.407%, and we subtract from that 22.675%, so we have 7 minus 5 is 2, 10 minus 7 is 3, 13 minus 6 is 7, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2. So that's 20, oh, I keep putting dollar signs, I don't know why. There we go. There's the decimal place. So that means that if you pick a person at random, the probability that that person will have an IQ between 106 and 118 is 23.732%. Eh, let's call it. 24%, and that is how it's done. A Almost a quarter of people have IQs between 106 and 118. Seems generous. <laughs> hey, it works.